the 49ers were surprised by the loss of this star, he will not play anymore and Shanaran will have to change all plans, check it out now. For the second straight practice, the 49ers were without wide receiver Jawan Jennings because of a hip issue. Jennings is the 49ers leading receiver with 404 yards and 3 touchdowns this season. His continued absence from practice suggests the 49ers will be minus the services of a receiver whose frame and route running prowess would be extremely useful against a Chiefs defense that played a lot of physical man coverage in the Super Bowl and will likely do so again in this latest matchup. First round pick Ricky Pearsall practiced in full for the second straight day having had his practice window opened on Monday. Pearsall has spent the first six weeks on the non-football injury list, and it remains to be seen if the 49ers will be willing to activate him onto the 53-man roster so quickly. If the Niners elect not to do so, then Chris Conley, Ronnie Bell, and Jacob Cowing will all be candidates to see expanded roles in Jennings' potential absence. Thursday's injury report indicated the Niners will probably be using a third different kicker for the third straight game. Matthew Wright, signed as a stand-in for Jake Moody, again missed practice with his dislocated shoulder. If Wright cannot play, then the 49ers will be forced to elevate Anders Carlson from the practice squad, a risky proposition given the number of kicks he missed as a rookie for the Green Bay Packers last year. A new addition to the injury report was interior defensive lineman Kevin Givens, who missed practice with a groin injury. Should Givens miss the game, that will further limit the 49ers' options in an area of the roster where they are already thin. But the Niners did get some good news at the same position group, with starting defensive tackle Malik Collins returning to practice after missing Wednesday's session with a knee injury. He and Jordan Elliott both appear in line to start up front. Debo Samuel went through practice with a blue non-contact jersey as he battles a wrist injury, but his limited participation in practice points to the star wideout featuring on Sunday. The same can be said for running back Jordan Mason as he deals with an AC joint sprain and rookie safety Malik Mustafa. On the Chiefs' side, defensive lineman Mike Dana was once again the only player on the active roster to miss practice. Dana appears likely to miss out with a pectoral injury. Leave your predictions for the game against the Chiefs in the comments, until next time.